a group in Lafayette standing in solidarity with Palestinians through a rally. People drove their cars down Johnston Street and Ambassador Caffrey. Some of them also held up signs. They're bringing attention to the ongoing violence in the Middle East that's happening in Israel and the Palestinian territories. We want to show that the Palestinian people do exist. Palestinian people are asking for what everyone else is asking for, which is to live free in a country of their own. And that's basically what we want to bring attention to what's going on in Palestine. And that is not just uh, 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 Israel attacking Hamas, no. It is Israel attacking the Palestinian people who have been living under their military occupation for 73 years. Here's Bradley's 24-hour forecast. And more of an unsettled weather pattern returning to Acadiana as we kick off the new week tomorrow. In fact, scattered light showers arriving after midnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Overnight lows and temperatures by tomorrow morning, upper 60s to lower 70s. And then a decent scattering of those showers and storms throughout the day. Tomorrow not going to be raining all day long, but nonetheless, they'll be lurking around. And it looks like we have a broken line of showers and storms pushing through as we head into tomorrow evening with some locally heavy downpours possible. And rain chances are not going to be quite done yet for uh, the rest of the week. So here's our 24 hour forecast again overnight lows upper 60s to lower 70s rain chances non zero throughout the day, but they'll peak sometime tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Your high temperatures will top out in the lower 80s and again rain chances elevated staying elevated rather through the better part of the upcoming work week. We'll discuss that plus I'll have your rain totals coming up in just a little bit. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, two nonprofits in Iberia Parish are hosting 5K fundraiser event. The Bayou Side event will happen Saturday, May 22nd in downtown New Iberia. It's being put on by the Iberia Mental Health Initiative and the Heart for Iberia. The group says they are dedicated to improving the quality of life of the community. This collaborative between our two organizations is just an example of what can be done when people do work together and what we can accomplish together. Exactly, and to speak into that also, adding, you have events all the time. We go to places, we do things, and we don't always remember what was said, but you remember how you felt. And we want people to have this sense of like, hey, someone was by my side. I, I have someone to lean on. Time is running out for nonprofits in Southwest Louisiana to get some financial help from United Way. The organization is accepting letters of intent through May 18th from nonprofits in five parishes. Each group must address how they are helping with community wide issues like health, education, and the economy. Helping you find work is part of our Rebound initiative, and there's an opportunity this week to find a job. Acadiana Work Workforce Solutions will host an opportunity event. It's happening Wednesday at Brown Memorial Park in Lafayette. You can enroll in training courses, get help with your resume, and apply for jobs. In the latest guidance from the CDC, schools should keep using masks until the end of the school year. The reason? All students won't be fully vaccinated by the end of the academic year. That's because children under the age of 12 are not yet eligible to receive a COVID vaccine. The CDC says they are continuing to work on guidance for schools and also for summer camps ahead of the break. The CDC is defending its latest guidelines that say vaccinated Americans do not need masks in mo do not need masks in most settings. Officials hoping this will motivate those who have not already done so to get a vaccine. Here's ABC's Andrew Dimbert with the details. The country's top health officials are defending the CDC's latest guidance, saying those who are vaccinated can go maskless in most settings. If you're unvaccinated, we are saying wear a mask, um, continue to distance if you're uh, if you're unvaccinated and um, and practice all of those mitigation strategies. More than 200 million Americans are not yet fully vaccinated. Dr. Anthony Fauci telling CBS he hopes these new guidelines provide an incentive. If in fact this serves as an incentive, for people to get vaccinated all the better. I hope it does actually. There is some concern about enforcing the rules. Uh, yes, there's an honor system aspect to it and, and maybe not every single person is comfortable with that. The, the gray area being, of course, that 
children under 12 cannot be vaccinated yet. At least nine states banning so-called vaccine passports. But Oregon may soon require businesses to verify a customer's vaccination status before allowing them to go maskless. Current recommendations from the CDC say schools should keep mask and social distancing policies in place for this school year, but new guidance for the fall is expected soon. More than 3 million 12 to 18 